In this video, we'll draw a section through this floor plan. The first thing to do is decide where to stand. And we have various options here. For example, we could cut the section this way and look in this direction. And that way we're clipping both these exterior windows, which is always good when doing a section. We could also stand here or here and then draw a vertical line and look this way. But in this plan, I think the best place to stand would be here where we could look at all of these walls. So we'll stand between the toilet and the tub so we're not slicing through the toilet and at the same time, we'll clip the window there. And that's what a section cutting plane line looks like. A heavy dash dot dot dashed line the arrows point in the direction that we're looking, and they're topped off with some sort of ID marker. This says, go to section AA, and you'll find the drawing of the section that we're about to do. First, project the exterior walls down. Then draw the floor, and I'll give it some thickness. This is a quarter inch scale, so you need to use the quarter inch scale to draw the height. We'll make it nine feet tall and I'm going to give it a flat roof. Six to 12 inches is common for an overhang. And you can make the thicknesses six inches. And I'm gonna go ahead and just sketch a footing A freehand line means the ground is unpaved, and that's the earth symbol. Now I'll bring down the windows. this door, the cabinet, and there are upper cabinets too, so I'll take this all the way to the ceiling. There's the cabinet thickness. Here's the other side of the cabinets. I'll bring down this wall. And I missed a window there. I'll go back and put that in. Let's put in this wall. There's a window here, too. And there's a window. Window and door heads, that is the top of the window, are typically at the same height. I am going to make the head height seven feet. I'll draw a light construction line over.
and I'll darken in that height. I'll just make an arbitrary sill height for this window and this window. And I'll make another sill height for the others after I complete more of this. So I've got this window, I've got this door. I'm going to measure up three feet for the cabinet height. The cabinet goes from here to here. I'm just going to do a little sketching to make this go faster. This is the toe kick. And we see the toe kick. That's typically three to four inches tall. We see it across the whole distance between the cabinets. I'll make this window this tall. Clean this up a little. Put in a countertop thickness. And I'm cutting through this cabinet and the stove so it gets hatched. That's just a symbol indicating that this is a cut through. Then of course I can add doors or whatever detail I want here. There's an upper cabinet and we'll draw that all the way to the ceiling. and it's cut through also, so we hatch that. We're looking at cabinets from here to here. We'll just take that over to the window and actually what I'm going to do is draw a line here so this could be cabinet and this just could be a wall soffit overhead. So I'm going to erase this because this all would just be one dark line. So this is this, this is the window, and then we've got some cabinets we're looking at from here to here. So we'll bring this line down erase that And this cabinet is attached to the wall. So I'm not going to bother with a wall soffit. Now there's the tub. We'll make that about a foot and a half. There's the window sill. And we can put a shower nozzle right about there. We don't see the toilet because it's in front of the cutting plane line. Here's this wall, and then here's that window. And now to finish this off, 
I would darken in all the wall, floor, and roof lines. Everything you cut through gets treated with a thick, dark line. Then I would add other details. For example, this is the symbol for a double hung window, which looks like that in elevation. You need to overlap the rails and styles. And that's the glass symbol. Add door hinge symbols. I'm putting in some drawers here and putting in door hinge symbols here. And basically, there you have it.